Hello Brides, I am Christine Daniels from the Netherlands and today I would like to share my praise report with you all. Joy in times of tribulation. Today promise, my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 19 Dear Brides, how wonderful is my heavenly man, it cannot be described in words. He is truly the man every woman should have in their life, as husband and as father of the children. When I first got divorced, I often thought about how I should raise my children on my own. But the fact is, I am not alone. He provides me with everything I need to fully enjoy the abundant life with him and my children. Recently I had the opportunity to have a conversation with two female Moroccan colleagues about life and our children. Many children display rebellious behavior and need a clear disciplinary parent to raise them. From home I had to see how my mother struggled in raising me and my younger brothers and sister. Although she is a religious woman, my mother was also the first to strictly forbid me not to desire a divorce for this reason, when things were going so badly in my own marriage, because I would have no idea how hard it was to raise children alone. However, I no longer wanted to raise the children with my former husband. Dear brides, I have never believed that divorce is an option to become happy and never wanted to be a single parent and thankfully my heavenly man knows my heart's desire and intervened to teach me how to be a wise wife and mother together with him for the children. I don't have to worry about anything for he is my source of wisdom and support when I am at a loss he would like to be that for other women too. He lovely lets me know that it is he who helps me with everything when my children are with me and when not. And thankfully I know now that he wants this intimate nurturing relationship that makes me so happy with any woman who desires it. I must confess that I still do not always easily see the moments that are there to tell others who warms my heart. I was therefore very happy to be able to talk for the second time that day with those two Moroccan female colleagues, who I have known for some time, about life after a divorce, raising the children and yet showing joy in time of tribulation. I could tell them that it is God who makes my children obey what I ask. I can always ask my heavenly husband to take over from me if I don't know what to do or say to my son or daughter. And every time he is faithful to take it over from me. Praying, talking to God about what you would like to see, hearing from your children is the solution. He is the only one who can turn their hearts or make them listen to what you ask of them. The ladies were somewhat surprised to hear this, but they understood what I was talking about, and that's the most important thing in the seed that was sowed at that time. He also gave me the opportunity to testify about my joy and why I am a little too long concerned about what is happening in my children's lives. All is known by my Lord. He is my maker and the maker of my children. The trials they face are often things for me in which I immediately learn to bring my concerns to him and to talk to him about it. To then have a beautiful testimony for his glory, how he solved it or provided what was needed. I am glad that he is teaching me the right way of education. To be able to tell this again to these women that I too was in a great panic a few years ago when I was about to get divorced. But that was not the end of my life, but the beginning of the abundant life which my Lord has ordained for me. 
Dear Brides, with my heavenly man I now have a happy family, thanks to the chapter My Mother's Teachings from the book A Wise Woman. My God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 19 he is, my, he is my inexhaustible source of everything I need. And he said, The God of our Father had presented thee to know his will, and to see the righteous, and to hear a voice from his mouth. For thou shalt be a witness before him, before all men, of that which thou hast seen and heard. Acts 22 verse 14 I am now learning the wise lessons to become a beautiful wise wife and mother. This good news is for all other women who also long for a carefree, abundant life with their beloved and children.